That race is a wonderful metaphor for life. You know, you're taking a perfectly good 100-meter race and you're putting a bunch of hurdles in the way. You know, why would you do that? But that's what the race is about. The race is about the hurdles, getting over those hurdles, and that's what life is. I started running hurdles when I was a sophomore in high school and just kept getting faster and getting faster and getting faster. And I remember each year I had a goal for myself and my senior year, my goal was to be a state champion. The state championship uh, was um, in 2018. Lindsay had been re running well throughout the year. And going into finals, I was in lane six on this track right back there. And I remember getting into the blocks and I just had this calm come over me and I just said to myself, I can do this. I started screaming because she had broken the state record. She didn't even know she had broken the state record, but I knew what it was and knew that she'd broken it. It was thrilling. And it was this beautiful moment where I ran on this track and it should have been the last of my career, but I knew that it wasn't. And that was really interesting to cross that finish line on this track and a girl who didn't want to run in college and felt like it was over knew it wasn't. And I think that that feeling has carried me through a lot, a lot of things in my career in college. My freshman year, I tore a tendon in my foot and that was very painful and very odd. So I ended up redshirting my freshman year and I didn't compete at all my freshman year. It's hard to come off of the momentum of a state championship in high school, to be a state record holder, to kind of have all of these expectations for you from others and I think for herself. And then to have an injury, it's a total bummer. She had also been having some pain in her hip and so that was slowing her up a little bit, but she was working through that and then left on her mission after that. So the idea was the foot can get completely healed, whatever's going on with the hip can get better, and then she'll come back and be ready to go. I think that my freshman year here taught me the things I needed to go on a mission and serve a mission, and the things I learned on my mission helped me come back and continue being on this team. So God knows exactly what we need, and he's in the details, and I have a huge testimony of that. My mission was the best thing ever. And looking back on it and thinking about those moments when I was praying to know if I should run here and God kept saying, you're going on a mission, it makes so much sense now. It helped me become the person I needed to become to come back here and do what I've been doing. The foot got better. The pain in her hip didn't get better. She came home from her mission, had an MRI, found that she had a torn labrum. It was causing her a lot of problems. It's a major surgery, and it took her out for that whole next year. There's people that never come back from injuries like that. And so she really put in the time and the effort over many, many months to be able to run again. From that last race in high school to the next time I ran, it was five years. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. There were so many moments, just little moments of successes that were so beautiful to me. Just running a hurdle again after so many years, I almost cried. Finishing that race, the first one coming back, I did cry openly in front of so many people. <laughs> and it was awesome. It was really, really amazing to finally get back to running and doing something that I love. And with the support of so many, something that felt impossible became possible. And it was um, faster than I have ever run. I have two sisters who were also collegiate hurdlers, and she ran faster than they had ever run. So she officially became the fastest hurdler in the family. We're getting ready to compete. She's doing pretty well, all things considered. And here comes another, another injury that she's got to deal with. She called and asked if I was home, and I said yes. and. She said, I got my results from my MRI, and I said, okay. And she said, I'm, I'm just going to come in there and tell you. And she came in the door and just broke into tears. I was developing a stress fracture in the neck of my femur. That is incredibly rare, but I, hey, leave it to me. If it's a weird injury, I'll probably have it. It was rough, you know, to get that news. 
when she's been working so hard and was so hopeful about this season and to see it, you know. That frustration of I'm doing everything that I've been asked to do, training the way I should. I'm a return missionary. I'm living the gospel. I'm saying my prayers. I'm reading the scriptures, you know, and, and bad things can still happen. And, and we all know that. But when they come into your life, I think it's that opportunity to either grow and do something about it with a limited capacity or to shut down and, and to retreat and to be afraid. And I think that's the one thing that she hasn't done. You know, she's been sad about it, but she's never been afraid. She keeps moving forward and saying, okay, if this is God's will, then I can take another step. I wish more than anything that I could be out there with my teammates, but because I can't, I need to find other ways to support my teammates and help them know that I love them. I think when most of us think of captains, we think of the best person on the team. Lindsay will be the first to tell you, she is not the best person on the team. To me, that speaks a lot of who Lindsay is as an individual and how well respected she is. What I can do right now is to be a friend, be a confidant, be a reassurance. I can be a support to you until I can be back out on the track again. And so I think it's not the title, I think it's the trust that's been the most meaningful to her in that position. Our hurdler is, it's not who she is, you know, it's what she does. And she does a lot of other things too that are also important. But I think the fact that she recognizes that she's a daughter of God and that she's a disciple of Jesus Christ, that she's a good friend to other people, that those are far more important things than how fast she runs the hurdles or if she runs the hurdles at all. My career has looked different. My journey has looked different than I thought. But what I do know is that I can do hard things, that we can overcome so many hurdles, and that I am loved and valued and I am important even when I'm not completely healthy. That has been really important for me to learn.